This man talking like he finna quit his job by for one little weak ass mixtape that ain't nobody even finna listen to. I'm nigga lame. I wanna be somebody so bad. Nah, for real. Last year he was the whole tip nigga, right? Now that nigga wanna be hard. Nigga so confused. I was trying to get some gas earlier, but shit, my man's wasn't even hitting me back. Mm. Mm hmm. Another serving on his winners. Say what? You order number 17? Hook you up with an eighth. You a lie. Real talk, man. The custodian in on that shit. Oh, shit. We might have to fall through then, fool. Boy, Protege, you feel me? I'm letting her introduce himself. Yeah, man, it's your boy Protege checking in. Upcoming artist, actor, producer, all that, man. You can follow me on every platform at Valley Jason. Y'all looking at the future, man. Yeah, my, my perspective, bro, I'll I say that you're a quadruple threat. You know what I'm saying? You're an artist, you're a producer, you're an act. You know what I'm saying? You mix your own music. Like, what, what inspires you to become that versatile guy? Just always wanting to be self-sufficient. I feel like a lot of times what ends up being a lot of people's like Achilles heel is that they gotta end up relying on people for stuff. Sure. So that end up like kind of holding them back because they never really able to reach their full potential. Yeah. So like, I just never been the type of person that wanted to wait on, have to wait on somebody to determine my own success. So I'm like, man, if I gotta learn how to do it, I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah. At least yeah. set the precedent and the tone for before I start going out and working with other people. Yeah. Have your my work ethic already be where it need to be. Yeah. So when it comes time to really get yeah, in that mode, it's, it's already cool. like second nature to just yeah, yeah. already know what's going on. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Um, so how would you say you grown from your first album to your second album? First one being Note the Cell, second <laughs> one being the new one, Danger Man. Um, so creativity wise, I feel like it's definitely took like a, a, a big leap. I definitely think I've expanded like and just grown sonically. Yeah. And I feel like my first project was more like a project to myself. That's why I called it Notes to Self. Yeah. Like I feel like it was just kind of like an affirmation and like a proclamation that this is who I am, you know, and this is what's going on. Yeah. But Dangerous Man has been kind of like me adapting a brand, yeah. you know, adapting a Think the shit, star cross, we on a path. You know, adapting an enigma, a persona, like, me is to Dangerous Man as, like, Beyonce is to Sasha Fierce. Okay, so that's like a, yeah, alter ego. That yeah, it's like a brand, like a, that I can stand behind. Yeah, that's hard, though. Yeah. Seeing, seeing the growth. Um, I came to the release party, though. So how did you feel? Like, how, how did that turn out? Make you feel like, um, it, it was packed out. Yeah, packed it was. Out from the bottom to the top, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Packed up from the bottom to the top, people outside, pulling up, valet, taking pictures, when they pull up. Like, yeah, so how that made you feel how them people came out, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was definitely an uh, encouraging feeling because I did put like a lot of just effort and thought into like the event and stuff. Yeah. And like, you know, like when you just thinking of something in your head, how you want it to go, it never go exactly how you want it to go. But that was a night where it went good. Like shit just went, or things just went real well. You feel me? So, and then what I think stuck out about it so much was like how much love was in the building. Like everybody was just loving on everybody. The other artists that got to uh, perform, like the vendors, the, the food, like everything was just, everybody was just loving everything. So I think that's why everybody had such a good time, yeah, you know. Yeah. From my perspective, I was genuinely happy for you because it was dope. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know, I don't know you, but yeah. just to see that for you, yeah. or you going, that's hard. Yeah. So like, uh, let's talk about acting. Like, what what roles are, are you playing in, or have you played? Um, man, you can catch me on Atlanta FX as Curtis or uh, Black Lightning on the CWS to mine. Uh, upcoming also possibly gonna be on the CWS uh, Star Girl. You can catch me on near 2020, um, uh, Creep Show, uh, um, AMC. Ain't Star Girl, Mom? Uh, DC. DC. Yeah. Right. I'm going to be on DC comedy. Yeah, bro. We're going to get active. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say? Active. What would you say is your favorite role that you did so far? Um, I would say still so far Atlanta, uh -huh. just because like it feel like that was like just a cheat code. Yeah. Cause oh. it's just like yeah, it was just like yeah. that's regular yeah. stuff. Yeah. It felt like this. This is what it felt like, but then they just had a bunch of cameras, cameras in front of it. Yeah, they, just, they just make it look all like professional, but it's really just. We just was just talking, you know?
lost in again, lost them again, gone with the wind, that's my dog, that's my king. So how was the performance at the L5? Um, it was definitely hard, like, um, the owners and I would say like the runners, they was real pleased with it, you mm -hmm. know, so we, we back there this Thursday, Danger and ATL, Valid Jason, Protege, J Newton, Soda Man, Ace Apollo is going up, some of the best underground talent in the city, each one of them, I got the 100% belief in each one of them, so I think that what's going to separate this concert from any other concert is, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be nothing but love. And it's not overcrowded. It's only four of us. And each of us is going to hold the stage down. So everybody who come is going to get a full experience. It's not like, oh, I'm just waiting to see who I came to see. Like, everybody who performed is going to be hard. So it's going to be like, you gonna, we're going to cross fan bases and really solidify ourselves, you know what I'm saying, in the market. The pain, again, again, gone with the wind. Bro, so how was the performance at Alpha? It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it looked like that, bruh. I think it said, I'll find.